Hi, I'm Carissa Wright, and I am a broker associate at Beach City Brokers here in Redondo Beach. Today I want to talk to you about the difference between South Redondo and North Redondo. This is going to be a two-part video series, so today I'm talking just about South Redondo. South Redondo, one easy way to know that you're in South Redondo is by the zip code. South Redondo zip code is 90277 versus North Redondo has a zip code of 90278. So that's one really easy way to distinguish the difference between South Redondo and North Redondo. South Redondo is the area south of 190th. If you are south of 190th, Redondo extends all the way down to Palos Verdes, Torrance Beach area, and the Hollywood Riviera. Um, to the east, you have Torrance, and then to the west, obviously, you have the ocean. In South Redondo, there are three elementary schools, and all of the schools are Redondo Unified School District. So the three elementary schools are Barrel Heights, Alta Vista, and Tulita. There's one middle school, which is Paris Middle School, and the high school for all of Redondo is in South Redondo, and that's Redondo Union High School. Some of the neighborhoods in South Redondo, um, there is, let's see, there's Barrel Heights, which is mainly, I would say, like older, smaller, single-family homes, kind of built more in like the 50s, maybe the 60s. Um, West of PCH, you have a lot of condos and townhouses. That's really great if you want ocean views and a little bit less maintenance, having a townhouse or a condo. There are what we call the avenues, and the avenues run both east and west of Pacific Coast Highway. Um, the avenues are known for having mainly single-family homes, and some of the homes, especially the ones east of PCH, have really great ocean views. Um, some of the ones west of PCH do as well, but the avenues west of PCH run flat. So great walkability to the beach, um, but since the streets are flat, it's maybe a little bit less view. But the ones east of PCH are a little bit more on the hill. So you have some great ocean views, really nice big homes, big lots, um, and really great walkability as well. You have easy access to get to the beach, to the Riviera Village, which I'll talk a little bit more about. Um, there's also the Gem Streets. There's This is an area where we have Sapphire, Topaz, um, Emerald. There are the Spanish Lady Name Streets. There's Guadalupe, Elvira, Gertruda, Alberta. Um, this part of the neighborhood also extends east and west of PCH. And same thing, the homes east of PCH have typically pretty great ocean views because they are in a little bit of a hill as well. Um, and then lastly, there's the Hollywood Riviera. And the Hollywood Riviera, it's a little confusing because the zip code in part of the Hollywood Riviera is 90277. So you do have a Redondo Beach address. However, it is technically Torrance. And this is something that gets really confusing. If you buy a house in the Hollywood Riviera, in the Redondo part of the Hollywood Riviera, so 90277, your kids will actually attend Torrance schools, you'll be dealing with Torrance for any type of improvements or anything of that nature. So that's a little confusing. Hollywood Riviera is actually technically Torrance. Um, let's talk a little bit about home values. So in the last six months, single family homes in the Hollywood Riviera ranged between 1.3 million to 14 and a half million. The 14 and a half, there's some really great homes right on the bluff overlooking the ocean. Huge homes, big lots. Um, oceanfront property. So that's where the 14.5 million comes in. The median was 2 million and the average lot size is about 6,800 square feet. So really nice big lots for this area. Um, if you go north of Torrance Boulevard, so this extends north of Torrance Boulevard and south of 190th, the single family homes ranged from 1 million to 2.7 million, with the median being 1.5 million. And the average lot size is 5,000 square feet. South of Torrance Boulevard, so this is going to be um, some more of your Gem Streets, your Spanish Lady Streets, the Avenues. These homes, the single family homes, ranged in price from 1.1 million to 4.2 million with the median being 2.2 million. And the average lot size here is 6,000 square feet. West of PCH, um, single family homes on this part of the neighborhood are 
ranging from 840,000 to 3.7 million, with the median being 2.3 million, and the average lot here was about 5,400 square feet. In all of South of Redondo, um, condos are ranging from 475,000, that's for a studio, to 2 million for a three bedroom, with the median price being 900,000 for a two bed, two bath. And townhouses are ranging from 725,000 for a one bedroom, up to 2.6 million for a five bedroom. The median here is 1.35 for a three bed, three bath. So a little bit more affordability in the townhouses and condos if you don't want a single family home or it might be slightly out of your budget. Um, some more benefits to South Redondo, we have what we call the Esplanade, which is a street that runs adjacent to the ocean. On the Esplanade, there's a really great walking path, and then down at the ocean, there's another great walking path that runs all along the beach. Um, just miles of like bike, people are biking, they're running, they're walking, their kids are on their scooters, and this path actually extends all the way up to Santa Monica. So you can hop on your bicycle and ride all the way up to Santa Monica, really fun day. Um, ocean, we've obviously got the ocean in South Redondo, which is fantastic. Really great, clean beaches, soft sand, um, and there's volleyball courts, which is awesome. Uh, the city doesn't put up nets, so you have to provide your own nets, but you'll see people out there playing volleyball all the time. Um, the Riviera Village, we have restaurants, shops, um, it's just a really great like little village area. There's grocery stores and ever since COVID there's now outdoor dining, tons of outdoor dining. They put up these really great dining decks so you can sit outside, eat, drink, shop, really great little fun downtown area. Um, and lastly, we have the pier and the harbor. So King Harbor is really well known. It's a large harbor, both, um, both commercial and, sorry, both commercial and recreational harbor. I had to got my notes. And um, the pier is shaped like a horseshoe, so it's really cool, like big, long horseshoe-shaped pier that people know. As you can see pictures, you'll know it's the Redondo Harbor. Um, and you also have restaurants and bars here, really great walkability, good sightseeing, um, lots of activities to do. So there's stand-up paddle boarding, you can do like whale watching, there's fishing boats. Um, I think there's even like a little like paddle boat. So there's all sorts of activities that you can do in the Redondo Harbor as well. Um, and then there's also hotels. So if you have friends that are visiting, there's I think three hotels down in the harbor area. And you can easily access Hermosa from that area also. So great to hop on your bike or even to walk into Hermosa from the pier area. That is my recap of South Redondo. For a second, I thought I wasn't recording, but thank God I am. Uh, that's my recap of South Redondo. So the next video, I'm gonna talk a little bit about North Redondo and how it is different from South Redondo. Thanks for checking out my video and feel free to reach out if you have any questions about living in Redondo Beach.